Hello, this is Andrew Christie here at the Christie Group at Atlantic Sotheby's International Realty. I appreciate you stopping by. I just wanted to take some time to make a quick video about our website, just uh, just how to navigate our site and uh, realize the, the power that it has. It's got a lot of great features. There's a lot that you can do with it. And um, we do have a lot of clients and, and customers stopping by just to use the site and, and we're perfectly fine with that. Feel free to use it as much as you want. But I just wanted to make sure everybody knows how to get everything that they possibly can out of the site. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started. Uh, well, first and foremost, I would just like to point out that um, unlike some of the other websites that are out there, some of the popular websites such as Zillow and Trulia, with our site, you're going to get the most accurate and timely information when it comes to real estate. Um, and, and the reason for that is, is because our data comes directly from the source. It comes directly from our MLS, the database that all agents use to input all of their listings. So if it's out there, you're going to see it. You're going to see it as soon as possible on our site. Not only that, Part of the problem that we often see with Zillow and Truly and some of those other sites is that they don't always show you when properties under, are under contract. Our site does, and I'm going to show you exactly how to see that, how to find that, how to recognize that, and that way you're not spinning your wheels looking at properties that are already under contract without realizing it. Um, so most timely, most accurate information and no matter where the home is in Hampton Roads, Virginia, if it is listed on our site or if it's listed for sale, we can get you inside that home, okay? So we can be your one-stop shop, and we'd certainly love to have the opportunity to, to help you uh, with all of your real estate needs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, talk a little bit more about the website and how to use the website. So if you've been using the website, there is a good chance that you've gotten uh, an email similar to this one, uh, something like this from us that, l that is letting you know that, hey, these, these properties are listed for sale, they're on the market, um, and you can click on any one of these properties, uh, either in the photo or in this little description area at the bottom, and it's going to link you to our site. It's going to our site, which is Andrew Christie Homes. That's A N D R E W C H R I S T I E Homes.com. And it's going to provide all of the data, data and details about this particular listing. All right, so let's take a little uh, look here. Um, so this particular property was, uh, it's been on the site uh, 24 days. Uh, it's 2432 Cherry Blossom Drive in Suffolk. And um, we can see this blue box here. It's contingent. That means it's under contract. Most likely you're not going to see this on Zillow, uh, but you do see it on our site and that means it's under contract. So you might not want to spin your wheels on this one. Now, Little spoiler alert, little tip, a pro expert tip here. There is a way where we can find shadow inventory for you. It's called a home sale contingency. So, for example, um, if this particular seller of this home accepted an offer from a buyer who has a home to sell, so the buyer of this home has their own home that they have to sell, but they have to sell their home before they can close on this home, that would be called a home sale contingency. And so sometimes sellers will accept an offer with a home sale contingency. And sometimes those homes don't sell as quickly as they thought that the, 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 the buyer thought they would, or the seller of the home, the buyer of this home in this case. Uh, or sometimes they don't sell at all. And, some t and it's not uncommon for buyers. Usually what they do is they put a first right of refusal, meaning that they can continue to advertise it and they can continue to take offers. And they have to give notice to the buyer who has it under contract with the home sale contingency. And if, if that buyer can't clear that contingency within a certain time frame, 
hey, Bob's your uncle, you get it. Um, so not too many agents know how to set that up for you. Uh, we know, we do, we know how to do that and we can do that for you. And in, in, you know, market conditions where it's hard to find inventory, even when, when, when there's more inventory out there, it's still nice to know that, Hey, there is potentially some homes out there that most buyers don't know about that you may be able to buy. So anyway, if you're interested in that, we can get that set up for you. Uh, it's a little bit of an advanced technique. Uh, but here, I just want to go ahead and show you how to get the most information from our website regarding all these listings. So, number one, you can see that this one is in Suffolk and it's in Cedar Lake Shores. You can click on each one of these to see homes in those areas. Here are, our, are all of the photos. There's 42 of them, as you can see there, and you can click through them either using this arrow. Sometimes it takes a couple of seconds for the photos to load or you can click on the photo itself and it will, uh, it will load up this uh, screen here where you have a preview on the left side. You, you have these frames with a preview of, a, of all the photos on the left side and the photo um, that you're, you've clicked on on the right side. So if you don't wanna click through all of them, you can kind of just scan through them like this and find something that interests you, like, oh, here's a screen porch. Let me take a closer look. And you can even take a, an even closer look here by zooming in and out with this arrow, and then you can scroll around as, um, as necessary. So, um, let me go ahead and close that, go back to this view. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we have the, um, the most important information or the, the information that most people are looking for below the photos right here, uh, the price, um, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, and the amount of square footage. We also have the estimated payment. And if you want to see what that's based on, just click on this here. And we have a mortgage calculator, which you can manipulate yourself to suit your, uh, your, your situation or your scenario. Uh, so, for example, um, if you're using a VA loan and not putting any money down, you just put those to zero, you're using a 30-year fixed, maybe your interest rate's at 4.5%, and um, the property taxes are pulled in automatically. Homeowner's insurance, let's just say you got a quote and it's 125, it wouldn't be 125 a year, let's just say 12, 1300 a year, okay? And let's just say there's no HOA here, so there's no HOA fees. And we can click Calculate. There's your payment, 1963 a month. And it breaks it down. Principal and interest is 1637 Your property taxes are 1218 And your home insurance is $108 a month. Pretty cool. And you can adjust that for whatever your situation is. So let's go ahead and close that and keep on looking here. So we've got the key details of the property comes next. Uh, such as property type, listing status, square footage, subdivision, uh, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, is it in an HOA, yes or no? That's pretty important. It's something you definitely want to look for because if it is in an HOA, that you have to take into account uh, the monthly fees, and that is going to affect your pre-qualification. So um, that ha you, know, you, you have to be aware of that, and you have to adjust for that for your pre-qualification. Uh, some more information over here that you can read for yourself. And then down below that is a property description. This is basically the write-up for that property, the public remarks. Over here, if you want to request a tour, if you want to see the home, a quick, easy way to do it, just um, click on in-person, what's well, already selected. But if you wanted a virtual tour, you could select virtual. Most people want in-person tours these days. It's always best to see the home in person. Um, and then you can select the day that you want to see it. You've got um, today, tomorrow, the next day here, or you can keep on going that way. And then you just click, a, click this button here to schedule a tour, and we'll get a notification. I will say that if you do not hear from us within, I'd say, 6 to 12 hours, reach out and let us know that you sent this uh, request. Um, you can just call the number that you see right here to make sure that we've got it. And you can usually call or text that number. Now, scrolling down the page, I want to make sure you're aware of this. A lot of people do miss this. This is the Read More Info button. You click that, 
you get a lot more information about this property. So you get the location, the rooms, so other rooms, these are all the rooms that, uh, that are in this particular home. The interior features, what kind of hot water heater it has, uh, the heating, cooling, kind of flooring it has, fireplaces, equipment and appliances, uh, the exterior, uh, garage, description of the garage, um, uh, this here the one meaning that it's a one car garage, uh, what kind of fence it has, whether or not it has a pool, whether or not it's waterfront, what kind of view it has, the roof, and the parking situation. Um, more information about the building, type of foundation, the water and sewer, how many stories, and the schools, um, the primary schools, the elementary, mi middle, and high schools. And that's, a, that's important to a lot of folks who have children. And, uh, and then some other information down here, um, just uh, miscellaneous information. Now, if we keep on scrolling down the page, we've got some other great information. Um, so we've got the area schools. The, we've got the elementary, middle, and high schools. And if we click on each one of these schools, it'll show where that school is on the map and some more information about the school. Uh, ratio, 19 to 1, student to uh, teacher, um, phone number, address. Go back. This 4 is the rating on a scale of 1 to 10, and that's pulled, I believe, I believe that's pulled from, yes, it is right here. It tells you school data provided by great, tools, excuse me, great schools for your convenience. So that's a rating that's compiled from feedback from teachers, students, faculty, parents, and you get a combined score there. Um, so these are all the elementary schools in the area. Here is the middle school and then the high school. Okay. Now, click on properties, and it's going to show you more properties in the general area, in the vicinity of this home. You can click on each one of them to get more information about each home. It says there are 178 listings nearby, so if you want to look at all those, you can just click on that link and it'll take you to those listings as well. Property history, you can see the history of this property, so we can see that it was listed on June 17th and it went contingent or under contract on July 11th. Uh, market trends, you can see here the average sold price for homes in this area, and that's in the zip code 23434, and the average number of homes sold. So it's nice to see uh, what's what kind of activity is going on in the area. If you want to find out more about the neighborhood demographic, you have that down here. You can see the population, median age, High school degrees, how many, you know, the percentage of folks with a high school, de high school degree, and then the median income for the area. Similar homes for sale, and then hot listings. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, one other thing I did want to say, did want to mention here, <clears throat> is that if you want to save a home, all you have to do is click here, save. And I believe that has saved it. Yeah, there we go. We get the uh, red heart saved. And anytime you want to see your saved homes, you can come back to them at any time. You can simply click out of this window, come back to the website, come on over here. And if you're not signed in, it will say sign in here. And when you click sign in, well, let's go ahead and sign out. That way I can show you how to do this. So we click sign in. We're going to go ahead and now if you've used the website and you've already registered, we've already set up an account for you. And what we've used is your email address and then your password down here is going to be the phone number that you use to register and it's going to be the digits only with no dashes, no parentheses, so just the 10-digit phone number without just all together without any kind of dots or dashes or any kind of special characters, okay? So I've got my mine saved in there. I click OK. It logs me in. Now, 
I want to see my saved properties, I just go to Account Settings, and you can see Favorites here, and boom, there she is. And there's the property that I saved, and I can click on it and see all the details just like I did before. All right. Now, another nice thing you can do with this, uh, this site is you can set up your own searches. And I actually have one set up here. But um, just to show you how, well, before I do that, uh, in order to see that, so for example, as you can see, I do have a home search set up. To see the results of that home search, I just click here and it lists all the properties that match the criteria of the search that I have set up. But to show you how to go ahead and set up a home search, I'll, I'm going to show you how to do that. Just come to the home page here. And uh, I can type in a city, a county, or a subdivision. Uh, we're going to go with Norfolk. So let's see. Let's actually come up here. Oh, here we go. Norfolk. All right. So right now it's showing me everything in Norfolk that's currently listed. Now, as you can see, this is a commercial or industrial as well as this. Um, this is a rental. You can see it says rental there. And if you're buying a home, you probably don't want to see those. So how do we filter those out? Well, the, the way to do that is to come up to more, go to uh, purchase type. Now, Instead of selecting any, we'll go ahead and select for sale. That way we're filtering out all of the rentals. And as far as listing status, we know that contingent and under contract means they're under contract, right? So we just want active, but also let's get back on market because sometimes these homes go under contract and they come back on market. And so we want to be able to see those as well. And just just to make sure we're seeing everything, we can also click on coming soon. All right, so now we've got those. And if I come back up here, I can see that we still have land and farms and some other properties in here that we don't necessarily want. So how do we change that? Come to property type. What do we want? Do we want attached residential, detached res residential? So attached are homes such as condos and, and townhomes where they are attached to each other. Detached are just that. They're single family homes where they're not attached. So um, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and select both of those because maybe we don't really care, right? We just want to see everything that's a residential property that's for sale in Norfolk. So here we go. We can see right here. We've got 390 properties for sale, 390 attached or detached residential properties that are actively for sale in Norfolk at this time. So now we can get a little bit more specific with our criteria. So uh, let's go ahead and set a price range. Let's say we're looking for homes between 300,000 and 375. Okay, there we go. Now we've got 80. We want to make sure it has at least three bedrooms, so we select three as the minimum. Max, we don't really care. It can be as many as as many as five or six. We don't care. Now we're down to 79 bedrooms, or I'm sorry, bathrooms. Um, let's say we want at least two baths, so we select two, and now we're down to 77. All right. And as we scroll through, we can see um, some details about them. Like, for example, this one just had a price drop of 10000 This is a new listing. This one's active. This one has an open house from Sunday to 1, 3 p.m. 1, 1 to 3 p.m. Um, now, we can also change the way we sort these properties. We can sort high to low, low to high, newest listings, most bedrooms, most bathrooms, the newest built, or the biggest by square footage. Um, 
We have the map selected. We can deselect that. And we can also use the grid view here. Okay. Now we can, over here on the map, just so you know, you can scroll around, you can zoom in. And here, let's say, for example, if we just wanted a certain section of Norfolk and not the whole thing, we can use this drawing tool here and draw some lines so that we're only getting that section. And as you can see, within the section of Norfolk where I drew the lines, we have 33 properties for sale and they are listed there. Now, let's say, hey, this is perfect. This is exactly what we want. These are the homes that we are interested in and in this area, so we're ready to save the search. All we have to do is click Save Search and name it. No for Homes for me. Okay. So in order to see that save search, you just come to Account Settings, go to Searches, No for Homes for me. There it is. You can visit it, check it out as many times as you like, see what's available there. And of course, let's say, for example, if we go into the search and we decide that we really like this home and we save it, and then we come back to our account. There it is, that home is saved. So pretty cool stuff. Um, I hope this helps. That's, um, you know, if, if you do decide that you are interested in buying home and you do decide that you would like to work with us to help you in the purchase of the home, representing you, helping you find the home of your needs and representing you with the purchase, negotiating on your behalf and helping you from A to Z with the, uh, with the purchase of your home. Um, you know, this is the site that we will use with you to make sure we're getting you all of the homes that meet your needs and make the whole search process and finding the home, getting it under contract as efficient as possible. I hope you found this helpful. I would certainly love to speak to you more about your home purchase. If you need any help or assistance, feel free to reach out. You can reach me directly at 757-269-9746, or you can reach out to our main line, 757-656-1799. And thanks again for watching. I hope you're doing well, and I certainly hope to have the opportunity to serve you in the near future. Thank you so much.